Good morning guys, so earlier this year I attended a maths interview at the University of York. I still decided to dress semi-smart despite having no dress code. In my bag I just packed my emergency purse, basic stationery, snacks and my calculator because you never know when it will come in handy and I did actually need it in the end, so very glad about that. We set off on the two hour journey at around nine o'clock, but immediately the GPS broke. Let's just say we were not off to a good start. We had to run around everywhere trying to find a new one. On the journey, I tried to establish some bearings in terms of the map for when we arrived, whilst also going through some flashcards on potential questions I may have been asked. Not gonna lie, we did also have a bit of a sing song, despite neither of us being able to sing. So, I do apologise for this. Parking was a true nightmare once we arrived, but we did have 40 minutes to spare, so at least we were in the correct vicinity, despite going to the same car park twice before we realised that we were in the correct place. However, once we did park, we realised why the space was empty. We practically had to swim our way out of it. At one-ish, everybody was invited in. Complimentary bacon buns and cups of tea were provided and very much appreciated. So we were in a room just by this little lake here, which was so lovely to look out over. They gifted us with leaflets alongside the tea and coloured name badges, which divided us into four different groups. Following a brief lecture, my group attended the interview and then went on a gorgeous campus tour. The closing lecture swiftly followed and we were rapidly back in the car, heading home in the most awful weather conditions of glaring sun and hail. Lovely. The interview had not gone as well as I would have hoped, but this will be discussed shortly. Finally at home and I was absolutely knackered, so it was just a hot chocolate, curry, and then time for bed for me. Hello guys, so I've got a few seconds just to catch up with you now. It's been quite a while since that interview, about a month later now, and this is the first chance I'm getting to talk to you about it. But basically, um, I didn't think it went well. I was only really talking to the person for about three minutes. It was because my teacher had emailed beforehand telling them that like I was going to be really anxious and stuff. So um, they took that into account and they were really nice and friendly. But that's why I think they cut the interview short because they could see on my face and like they were prepared for it in advance that I wasn't going to be the most comfortable person there. So I think they just like decided that it'd be better to cut it short however I did still get the reduced offer they did offer me a reduced offer so I'm very happy and it was really really nice place as well it was a really friendly atmosphere and I just loved the whole sort of experience it wasn't what I thought it was going to be because I've never really been set on uni but that that really has made me think about it more and York probably would be my first choice yeah although I haven't been to see any other unis, so that would be why. So, if you have been invited for a interview at York, then I really do recommend going. It's such a friendly atmosphere, and, like, like they're most likely going to give you a reduced offer, even for just turning up for the interview. Like, it doesn't matter how well you do. So, I really do recommend it. It's a really lovely place, and if you haven't considered York in your application, then I really recommend that you do that. Obviously you saw me revising flashcards on the way there, however I did still forget one of the questions that I wanted to ask so I was so annoyed with myself. Therefore I do recommend using flashcards properly instead of just thinking I need to ask that. Make sure it's definitely secure in your head. I got my reduced offer back the next day so they really won't leave you in the lurch that long from my experience and what I heard other people say. For the interview for maths in particular, the whole setup of the day was that we went to the lecture theatre where they talked to us about what was going to happen and things like that. And then we got split up into groups um, and depending on what group you were in, you either went for the tour first and then your interview or the interview first and then the tour. I would have preferred to be in the interview last, but I did my interview first, which 
I didn't really get told about so I wasn't expecting that but it was completely fine and as I said the interview didn't last very long at all and like they say it really is just a friendly chat. So literally the only question I got asked in my maths interview was why did I choose that uni? Didn't really have anything to do with maths at all and then what we got warned about in advance was the maths question we would get asked but then he didn't actually ask me that because the interview was cut short however I know that other people in my group got asked things like how many zeros would be in 100 factorial or something like that so i mean in some ways like revise but don't stress yourself out over it you need to know what factorial is basically like if that came up you'd need to know what factorial was otherwise you wouldn't really get anywhere however like i think the question that i was going to be asked was about um e e to the power of x and differentiating and integrating that and things like that so you should be clear on those rules but it's not really going to make a big difference in the end so i wouldn't stress over it basically so if you are having an interview soon for anywhere or for maths or for um york in particular then i wish you the very best of luck